everybody, I hope you're doing well. Bailey Pop here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the different kinds of bookcases that you could get for your displays. Let's go! This is Editing Bailey here because I meant to say that I definitely said I was going to do this series over on my TikTok, and then I started, and then I didn't finish it because I wanted to make a full on video with all three slash six bookshelves that I wanted to talk about. So, welcome back, guys to Funko Pops for Dummies Bookshelf Edition. All of the chapters in one. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bailey. I collect a lot of different things like Pops, Lounge Fly, and other collectible figures. And I also really like anime, Disney, Marvel, and again, many other kinds of things. So if you enjoy that stuff, consider subscribing, maybe leave a little comment and a like, whatever you're feeling like today. And like I said, today we're gonna be talking about different kinds of bookshelves that you can buy for your collections. My collections, I mean like Funko Pops and Cube Poskets. Maybe you collect Squishmallows, those are dope too. Today specifically, we're going to be focusing on what I have come to find are the three most popular options. Any of these websites also have different kind of bookshelves that might be a little bit more expensive or a different kind of bookshelf that's similar. For instance, the Billy bookcase we'll be talking about today has like a thousand different versions. Today I'm either going to be doing the most bought or top rated for you to look at. I'm going to focus on three different stores, which is Ikea, Target, and Walmart. I considered including Amazon, but honestly, I don't know anybody that has owned the Amazon ones. So for that purpose, I'm going to leave it out of this video. These will all range in prices. I'll give my opinions and thoughts towards the end. And maybe so a little bit in there because I'll be talking about pros and cons, but ultimately do your research and decide what works best for you. Hopefully this is a good guide to help you do that. All right, let's get into it. First one we have is the Ikea Billy. <laughs> the Ikea Billy bookcase. Most popular option ranges from 89 to $119 being the most expensive bookcase on our list. It has three color options being white, black, brown, and birch veneer. It is definitely the most customizable option you will be able to find. And because of that, they are in high demand, which is probably why Ikea rose the prices so much. When I say customization, what I mean is they have individual shelves that you can buy from Ikea that aren't included in the bookshelves. It does come with, I believe, five. And you can also get an extension for the top of your bookshelf if you have the extra height in your room. Those shelves can range from $12 to $20. I believe the $20 one is a glass shelf and the extension for it is $30 to $40. Again, it depends on the availability and what colors they have. Now, the cons is it's extremely expensive. It's pretty much double to triple the price of the rest of the bookcases that I'll be telling you about. And because it's Ikea, it's very hard to get a hold of them. And because of its popularity and Ikea has a very limited amount of locations. If they are available at the location that's near you, you usually have to at least order them online to pick them up. If not, pick them up in person because they have a very limited shipping area. So if you're able to see them, I recommend grabbing them if you want them. Oh, one more thing. There's also doors that you can buy for these either glass doors or like half doors i'm not going to include pictures or prices of those in here actually i have a friend named myra and she makes funko pop content as well and i asked her about her billy bookcases and her favorite parts about them thanks for agreeing to like be like mini interviewed <laughs> yeah, of course. yay my questions are essentially what are your favorite things about the billy bookcase and do you have any specific pros and cons that you'd want people to know before buying them um, okay, so the reason I like it the most, um, just the uh, customizability of it, like I can mm -hmm. add more shelves. So it comes with like the standard, what is it, like five, I think. So you have mm -hmm. six shelves in total, um, but then they sell extra shelves. Um, and like throughout the entire bookcase, it has um, a bunch of little like spots where you can add other shelves. So I change my shelves all the time. So sometimes I'll have just like the standard boxes in there. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll have ones so i need to be able to kind of like shift the size of you know like what the shelf is depending on what i'm putting there how many ops do you think you can fit across if they were in box like front like facing on one shelf like specifically fitted for the box size i can do eight eight across completely mm -hmm. front facing oh uh, no not front facing actually i haven't done that in a while um sideways you can do eight okay um let me see. Here, I'll bring you around this way if you don't mind. So these are all front facing and mm -hmm. what, one, two, three, four, five, six. These so roughly front. six with a little bit of a gap. Correct. Okay, cool. Yep. And then sideways, I don't know if you can see down here, mm -hmm. there's a across. Nice. I'd love to talk up the Billy bookcase. I, 
I do know that it's not the most affordable option. Yeah. Um, but if you have the ability to get it, I think it is, in my opinion, the best option. Do you think it's more convenient as a out-of-box collector to have the Billies versus other bookshelves? Yes. Well, I consider myself hybrid. If you're an out-of-box collector, I think this does allow for better displays for, you know, having pops out of box. Yes. You can make all of that size here. I'll show you an example. This is from the eight pack mm -hmm. and they don't have boxes behind them. So they're a lot smaller. You can add even more shelves. For your lounge flex, I see you put mm -hmm. some up there. Yes. Uh, are you able to fit three, like completely front facing across? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Huge thanks to Myra for being willing to talk about them. You guys should definitely go follow her. I'll leave her handle right here. Let's talk about the Target bookcases. All right, for Target, we have a standard bookcase that is called Five Shelf Bookcase Room Essentials. So it's from the brand Room Essentials. It's priced at $37, which is the second highest on our list. But honestly, it's only like four or $5 more than the Walmart ones, I think. And they have a few different colors, like white, espresso brown, and black. I know a few people that own the Target ones and they love them. I've heard they're better quality than the Walmart ones that I'll be talking about next. And what I have noticed, by looking at the different pictures and diagrams on their website is they have more holes that go up and down the sides of the bookshelf than the Walmart ones do, which I'm pointing backwards because those are the Walmart ones behind me. The Walmart and Target ones seem to be about the same dimensions no matter what, which should mean you can fit five across front facing, and about six across if they're faced on their side. You can't buy extra shelves, unfortunately, and I don't believe there are any other additional pieces you can buy for the bookcase. So what you get in the box is what you get. Last we have Walmart. These are probably the cheapest ones you can get, both financially and quality wise. Unless you use a Target card with the room essentials, which might be able to get you 5% off. In that case, those might be the cheapest ones price wise. But the ones behind me are the Mainstays five shelf bookcase with adjustable shelves. They used to be called the Mainstays 71 inch bookcase. They just recently changed the name. You can get them in three colors, but they aren't always available. But there is true black oak, white, an espresso. In the pictures, the black and the espresso almost look identical. I have the white versions. I've never seen the espresso in person. These fluctuate in price depending on time of year and availability, but they are currently anywhere from $34.96 to $36.88. That's very specific. Regarding shipping, they can ship to you, not all the time, but sometimes they do, and it also depends how close you are to a Walmart. I usually decide how many I need, I order them online, and then I pick them up. These used to be decent quality, and then as time has gone on, they actually changed them a little bit, and in my opinion, they are not as good as they used to be. I've actually had like two break on me, <laughs> so honestly, you can go with them, and I do like the dimensions of everything they have, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. If you are an inbox collector and you don't move, they're probably great. <laughs> but if you're an out of box collector, one thing you should definitely consider is they literally are barely customizable. <laughs> I should say in all three bookshelves, that piece right there, middle piece is part of the bookshelf itself. You can't move it. Regarding everything else, Walmart has the least amount of holes that you can move your shelves on. So the least amount of customization and you can't buy extra shelves. I've tried using extra shelves that I've had from broken bookcases from them before inside, but honestly it was more trouble than what it was worth. So I took them out and instead I just kind of stack my pops on their boxes, but it's definitely not the most space efficient way to display your pops. I will mention the Mainstays six cube storage organizer and I will tell you right away to not buy it. I think they might have one other version that I saw very briefly and it was like $79 or something and I don't know anything about that one. But what I can say about this one is I own it and the quality isn't the worst, but it doesn't hold anything, <laughs> like anything. Especially my lounge fly, it is almost like the worst size ever. I can only fit the smaller lounge fly that I have in there that are the mini backpacks that don't have any type of ears or headpiece. For instance, President Loki couldn't put it in there. Any of the mini mouse ones I have, I can't put in there. If you do have more of like the side purses, you could fit them in there maybe, but if they are purses that have handles that stick right up, if they're too tall, they'll get compressed because the 
space inside is too short. So they might be okay for Squishmallows. I don't know, but I would not recommend them. But because I mentioned it, I will let you know that they come in white, rustic brown, ca canyon wood, and black. What is canyon wood? That is not a color. And they are $34.84. Walmart has some very specific prices. Hopefully this video helps you feel better prepared for what displays you choose to do in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it's cool. Leave a comment on what bookcases you use, if you use bookcases at all. I definitely can do a video on special ways to display your Funko Pops that aren't bookcases if you guys would like that. For instance, floating shelves, or I know that there is a vaulted vinyl shelf that can also be mounted to the wall, and there are a few other different kinds as well. But yes, this is the end of the video. Always remember that you are loved, you are valued, and you are enough. Bye!